All right, everyone, this is a free demo using Paraslash Academy's Lash Lift Kit. Every product in this video will be included in the kit that you would purchase from Paraslash Academy. The first step in this would be to cleanse the lashes with PLA Sterile Cleanser. Then it is important to use a fan to dry the lashes and try to dry them upwards because it will really help keep your lashes straight when combing them back on the rod. So then you will move into placing your under eye pads. I use the PLA microfoam pads. I believe they're just simply the best on the market. And then if you have any lashes that get stuck on those outer corners, just grab your tweezers, remove those. You can go into then measuring whether or not you would like a rod or a shield. The shield will have less dramatic of a curl. The rod will have more dramatic of a curl or a deeper curl. In this case, we are going with a large shield because because my client's lashes are so long, we did not want to go too dramatic and we decided to play it safe. Once you decide whether you're using a shield or a rod and what size, you will then use the provided adhesive to adhere that shield or rod to the lid. You will take a clean micro swab and dip that into the glue and apply it to the back of the shield or rod. You do not want to put it too close to the bottom where it would meet the lash line because you do not want their lash line covered in glue. I personally will set the middle of the shield sort of down right on that edge so no glue is touching it and I will make sure I'm watching their lash line as I'm pushing it down forward closer so that I'm not touching the lash line but I'm as close as possible and then holding that for 30 seconds. You will then use a new micro swab every time you dip into this adhesive that is provided to you. You will cover the lash shield or rod. I usually get this done in either two sections or three sections. If you have a client with a lot of lashes, I recommend three sections just because it does take a minute for that glue to dry. But once it starts drying, you don't have a ton of time to work with it, which is good. That's what you want. However, just make sure that you are just combing those lashes as straight as you possibly can. You can see it a little better in this clip, but I am really pulling those lashes up. I explained to my clients that it's not painful, but it is not supposed to be comfortable. It is a sensation of me pulling on your eyelashes, which obviously would be uncomfortable for anyone. But I use my non-dominant hand to stabilize the rod or shield. This is kind of why I like shields better because I'm able to have a little bit more grip on it. But I will just use some pressure to hold that shield in place while I'm pulling up those lashes so I'm not really, you know, pulling their eye open. At this stage, it is super important that you go in and fix any lash that is not completely straight. I recommend taking any lash tweezer and pulling from the tip of the lash and just removing it from the rod like a banana peel method. If you do lashes, you may be familiar with that term. It just will avoid any client discomfort in removing that lash because it will hurt if you're trying to just pull a glued lash straight on the rod. As you see in the bottom corner of the video, I have my PLA dish and I am using that to apply the step one of the solution. I typically apply it in just a line at the base of the lashes starting in the inner corner and then I will work my way up with the solution. I will start the timer and then I will move to the next eye. In this case, you see me right now going back in on the other side. I did hit the top of the shield with my wrist so I did bump off some of the solution so I just went and fixed that and then in this case, I will use the wrap to go over the eye. If you saw just before I applied the wrap a couple of the shorter lashes were starting to come up so this can help push those lashes down to keep them in sync with the rest of the lashes stuck to the rod however keep in mind that this does accelerate the time of processing so this will take down I would say you're processing by at least a minute in this case my client has super thick eyelashes so I wasn't too worried about it but if you have a client with fine lashes I would possibly avoid using the wrap. 
I then am using a clean lip applicator to remove the step one of the solution. I make sure that my physical body is almost completely over my client. You won't see many videos of the angle being directly above my client during this time because I'm fully in front of the camera making sure none of this goes in her eye. There are way too many horror stories of clients getting tint solution in their eyes or perm solution in their eyes. There is absolutely no need for that. We make sure that does not happen. This, as you can see now, is me going in with that step two of the solution. This step will really make sure that the lashes come off the rod. This is my key to doing lash lifts. People always ask me, how on earth do you get the lashes off the rod? Step two. I make sure those lashes are fully saturated in step two and I have no issues with it coming off of my rod. None at all. In the same case, I applied that wrap because of the fact that the lashes were coming up and I wanted to make sure that they did still have solution and they were with all their other little buddies. Keep in mind that step two is also for setting the lashes. So you are doing this for the exact same amount of time that you did the step one for. I will also take this time to profusely apologize for how disgustingly congested I am. I am doing the best to put this video out as soon as possible because I have had people ask for it. So just bear with me. It is Wisconsin. I have god awful allergies and I am doing my best loves. I, I really am trying. So as you can see now past my nasally congestion. <laughs> I am removing with a clean lip applicator brush again, the step two solution. Once again, I am fully over my client, making sure that everything has been removed. You will start to see now that those lashes are moving around a little bit more than they were previously. That is because they are now set beautiful. All they need is a little oil and nourishment, which is our step three to apply. I will apply that and sort of wiggle around the lashes a little bit, make sure everything has been removed correctly. If not, the oil will also help in removing the lashes from the shielder rod, but usually that step two will do all of the work for you. I then, as you can see, have a little two by two of just the sterile cleanser. I put that on my clean lip applicator brush. Absolutely nothing else. No water, nothing to make it runny. You want just foam and a little bit of it on that applicator brush and just slide that under. You'll be able to see it a little better on this other side. You don't want to remove too fast because that could hurt. But as you see, it's literally just on that eyelid and I make sure there's no glue residue. I will take a two by two, just remove that, making sure it does not touch the lash line because you do not want any water touching that lash line. Then going in with a clean lip applicator just to remove any residue that may be on that lash line. I just want to make sure that everything is completely gone. If you do happen to have any lash glue that may be stuck in the lash line, sometimes that can happen from the adhesive that was on the rod. You would take the eyelash tweezers that you would have and just kind of pick that out. Because of the solution, it will be pretty gummy. You can just pull it out with a lash tweezer. If it gets stuck, I would just use a secondary tweezer to hold the lash steady. But really using that is the best way that I have found to be able to do that. So here I am just taking my tweezers and kind of grouping them up a little nicer just to make sure they look more uniform after I pull those under eye tapes off. And then I will give my client her mirror. That is my absolute favorite part. You get to see her smile right here when she looks. It just makes me so happy. But please comment, share your thoughts below. If you have any other videos you'd want to see right here, I show you the results and bam, she looks so good. Please comment, subscribe, and I appreciate you all. <laughs>